The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were gonna be here after he was gone. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. What? Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work. Because I am going on vacation. Heads up, Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. The phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh! I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. We could've used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. There's gotta be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off-world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my God. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? I gotta get you guys out of here! Get on the jet! Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan! I know I have an obsession, leave me alone. Hey Inspirators, it's Inspiring Yazzie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't already realized, um, I'm just like a tiny bit obsessed with Tom Holland and Zendaya. And Spider-Man Far From Home literally just came out. Oh my god. <laughs> Despite that quick confirmation to my obsession between the two people, um, Spider-Man Far From Home recently came out on July 2nd. And I actually went to go and see it in the evening on July 2nd as well. So no one could give me any spoilers. So today I'm going to be doing a review about it. If you guys haven't watched it, do not worry. I do not like to share people's spoilers. Especially that I know that movies have been spoiled for me in the past. It's just like really annoying feeling when you get to watch a movie or you've been praying to watch a movie and then someone spoils it for you so this review doesn't have any spoilers apart from the ones from Endgame but I'm pretty sure that most people have watched Avengers Endgame but then the trailer before this introduction says if you haven't watched Endgame do not watch Spider-Man Far From Home yet but um, today I'm going to be doing a movie review I cannot wait and let's get straight into the video Following the events of Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man must step up to take on the new threats of a world that will forever be changed. Peter goes on a school trip all around Europe attempting to escape his hero duties. He tries to get closer to the girl he likes which is MJ. He tries to get closer to MJ while Nick Fury bugs him to step up. The quote behind the Spider-Man Far From Home movie is actually a quote that has been mentioned by Mysterio which is Jake Gyllenhaal's character and the quote is Saving the world requires sacrifices. The reason why 
why you should watch Spider-Man Far From Home is obviously because who wouldn't want to see Peter and MJ on the big screen obviously see the beautiful Tom Holland and Zendaya and also the storyline is absolutely amazing and I love how the scenes were directed but as I said before make sure that you have watched Avengers Endgame before you watch Spider-Man Far From Home and I just thought I'll put it in there that we're going to need to wait till 2020 until we get the next Avengers movie better put that on my calendar Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and check out my past Zendaya themed videos because you already know that there have been a lot of them. I've actually had the honour of meeting her twice. If you guys like to see those videos, I will definitely put um, the link to the first time I met her in the eye button in the corner over here, over here. And I'll be soon doing a story time all about the second time that I met her. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget to like this video if you are a massive Marvel and Avengers fan just like I am. And also that you love Tom Holland and Zendaya. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And comment down below who is your favourite character in the MCU. Mine would definitely have to be Spider-Man, not just because it's Tom Holland, but just because I love the way that he's pretty much unstoppable to most of the villains in the movies. So I absolutely love him and love his determination in the film. So don't forget to comment down below who's your favourite character or superhero. And without further ado, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!